Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com Bringing you another video today. I stopped over at the shop to shoot some of the video. We're taking our fly out to the pool and going to show you what it looks like in the water and give it an underwater look. Uh, the fly we're going to tie today is a really simple one. We're calling it the Easy Crawl. It's a crawfish pattern. I'm sticking with the summertime theme here right now in my bass patterns. And uh, you can see our new shop dog here, Nova. She's uh, our new pet at the house, and uh, she's going to be running around with me a lot. Going to be my new bird dog, but um, still got Jovi. She's doing good. This is one of Jovi's puppies. And um, we're going to just maybe drop her in a video every now and then like this. But anyway, the pattern we're tying today is a great use of the new fire hole hooks, the jig hooks, the, the 3X long ones. You'll see it here in the video in a second. And uh, I really like them. It makes a great small mouth hook. So let's get into tying it. Here you see the fly in the vise and the material is to tie it. Okay, here you see the fly in the vise. Let's get into tying it. It's not that hard. So the hook we're going to start out tying it on is a fire hole hook. It's a long shank jig hook. Um, it's a fire hole 523. It's a really cool hook and uh, it's three extra long shank on it which is nice for a crawdad pattern or a leech or something like that. The bead I'm putting on it, this is a size 4 hook by the way. The bead I am putting on it is a 5.5 millimeter slotted tungsten bead. We just got these big beads in the hook for some small mouth patterns and stuff like that. So, next thing we're going to put on is our thread. The thread I am using is 140 denier brown thread. And then I'm just going to wrap my... I started out by putting a little ball behind the bead there to hold it in place. And then I'm going to bring my thread back to the eye, back to the bend of the hook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around that bend a little bit. Just go down over that bend. And this will help my antenna of my crawfish stick out a little bit. And then I'm going to come back. Now for the antennas on the crawfish, I'm going to use Flex Floss. Um, brown, black, whichever one you have. I'm going to use brown on this one. And I'm just going to take one piece, fold it in half. And then I'm going to take the two strands, get them evened up. And I'm going to hang them out over the end of the hook and tie them down. Now I want these pretty long. So for sure the length of your hook. Even a little bit longer than the length of your hook shank. And get them started on there. And then I'm going to get them out of the way and trim them off. Save that piece for the next one. And then I'm just going to take and I'm going to curl this down around my hook. Get it around the bend a little bit there. As you can see. Okay, next thing we're going to do, and you see about where I cut that off. I cut it off about straight above the, the hook point. That's where the next um, piece of material is going to go. Next piece of material I'm going to use is some micro pine squirrel. This is the natural color. And I like to use this natural color just to give a little bit of contrast in the fly. Um, I, I like having two colors that's a little bit more natural than just one. So let's tie this down on top and I'm going to try to keep the fur side or sorry not the fur side the um, leather side going down and then we're just going to wrap this around the hook we're going to palm it around here and as we do it I'm going to tease these forward so I'm not trapping any hair and then I'm going to wrap that right about to the hook point what this is going to do is kind of make like a head on the crawfish and it's also going to hold our claws out and separate them a little bit. So we're going to wrap this up to the point there where I started that at and we're just going to tie it off. So get those back out of the way and we're going to tie it off here. Now the next thing we're going to add is our pinchers. For the pinchers, what I'm using is two different colors of silly legs. Whoops. One color is crawdad orange. Here it is. 
Sorry, it's just orange, perfectly barred orange, and the other one is pumpkin. And again, I like it for the little bit of contrast. It, it just gives you a little bit of color difference in there, as you can see, the pumpkin and the orange. And it makes a real nice crawdad color. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it on, I'll start it on the side closest to you. And I want it just a hair shorter than, than the antennas. Okay, oh, I forgot. I'm going to tie them in a knot on the end, both ends of it. I, I knot both the ends off and uh, makes a nice little pincher. And then I'm just going to go about it. Actually, it's about the same length as my hook shank is where I'm going to tie it down at. So we're going to tie this down on one side. And we're going to make sure it all stays up on that one side there. Okay. Just pull on a little bit, get it tight, make sure it stays to the side you want. And then I'm going to loosely wrap this back up towards the bead to add a little bit of body to it. And mainly to add body to it, but also to get it out of the way. And then I'll take this, wrap it around the other side, and I kind of want to match them. So I will, that's about the same length there. So I'm not going to pull on this one like I pulled on the other one. And they're going to end up being the same length as you'll see here. Well, I can't really... There. There. Now, oh, here we go. Show it this way. It's hard to focus my camera here on this fly because it's so big. But you can see there that they come out about the same length, which is what I want. So let's get back where we need to be. And you'll see here now that both of these come out each side of the fly and they're not going to crisscross or anything like that. Last thing we're going to put on is another piece of pine squirrel and this time for the pine squirrel we are using the crawdad orange and I'm just going to tie a piece on again and I'm going to tie it right up to the back of that natural And then wrap my thread back up to the eye. And it might take two pieces here. I'm not sure because I'm using a scrap from the last one I did. So we're just going to start wrapping this on. Palmering it up and teasing that hair back towards the point with each one. Make sure you don't poke yourself with the point. And palmer this the whole way up there. And that's all that's to it. So this is a really easy crawdad pattern. You could do this if you wanted. I could have put this on my rotary vise and spun it up with my rotary vise. It would have been a little quicker. But you don't have to have a rotary vise. Rotary vise is just to make things a lot easier on you. So make a couple wraps, tie that off. Trim off the extra. And then we're going to whip finish. And that is all that's to this easy curl. And it has a lot of movement in the water. So give this fly a try. It's a great way to use these hooks. These are great hooks. They're great woolly bugger jig hooks. And things like that. Here's just another example of a way to use that jig hook. Give it a try. Okay, you can see that wasn't hard to tie. Um, actually, pretty quick for a smallmouth fly. A lot of times your smallmouth flies take a lot of material and stuff like that. And this one's really simple. That's why we called it the easy curl. So, uh, you know, give it a try. Use these hooks. I really like these hooks. We got the big beads in the shop now, the 5.5 millimeter beads to get them down there. And uh, you're going to catch some fish on it. There's a lot of action in this fly, as you saw earlier in the shot from the pool. So, anyhow guys, thanks for watching all my videos. Please take the time to subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, tune in next week when I bring you another one. Until next time, get over to the shop, holsingersflyshop.com, for all your fly tying needs, and we'll see you next week. I'm Sean Holsinger.